Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and this is episode 13 of Let's Play Saxony in Europa Universalis 4. Last episode, we finished up a big old war with pretty much all of the HRE, and we did just fine. Uh, it was a little bit derpy on my part. We lost a, a stack of units over here in Bohemia. It was just 2,000 guys. Not a big deal. Uh, we upgraded our units at the wrong time, and someone took advantage of that while we had low morale. That's okay. We're almost done integrating Silesia, and after that is done, we are going to start Kissy Kissy with Saxa Lauenburg so that we can vassalize them and later integrate. Let's go! Alright, we maxed out our relations with Thuringia. That means we're going to start Kissy Kissy over here. I assume they want marriage and alliance. Yes, they do. So let's get our alliance first, and they will offer us a marriage. At least they should. And we can just start relations. Yep, see, they offered the marriage. If, if you know they're going to do both alliance and marriage, don't waste your time on doing both. Just get the alliance first, and they will offer the marriage. Unless they're like an archbishopric and they can't marry. Okay, so we got to get up to 190 to get a vassalization going. Uh, and then it's 10 years before we can start the integration process. Uh, we can do a shortcut by picking like the Hansa as a rival or Cologne as a rival. Probably the Hansa. They're bigger. Uh, just pick a rival and then that will give us a plus 50. So we'll do that as a shortcut once we get around 140. But well, it's going to be a while. In the meantime, let's repay our loan. We only have one. There you go. And our... Our uh, inflation's going down on its own. I love that. We took the economic ideas as our first idea, and it is just brilliant. I love it. Move on. I wish we could have vassalized Bohemia in that peace deal, but it just wasn't happening. If anyone knows for sure if holding on to provinces during a war, like we had, a, we had the entire country crisscrossed for about, what, two years? If anyone knows for sure, if we had held on for maybe two or three more years, if that would have dropped the cost to vassalize them, let me know, because it was at 102%, and I would have waited another couple years to get it down to 100 to the point where we could vassalize, but we'll just wait. Uh, we'll, we'll get them in some other war. Not a big deal. Integrating Silesia. Fantastic. Done. And that gives us a huge old border with Poland, which I'm sure they hate. Uh, okay, we're still got, we're still under our force limits. It's fine. I will even build another cannon because I can. Okay, Thuringia has a negative 189 <laughs> with us because of aggressive expansion. Oh my god! And we need to kissy kissy Austria again because we just annexed another member of the Holy Roman Empire, and they don't really like that. They don't take kindly to that, if you know what I mean. Okay, improve relations. Okay, we do have a free rival spot. We should probably put Hesse over there. Let's do that. Hesse, Hesse, Hesse. Done. Well, no. If we do Brunswick... Actually, we should probably do uh, Munster. Let's do Munster. Bingo. Then we can start... Uh, fabricating claims over here. It looks like they're going to take... They're, they may just annex Brunswick, because they're bigger, they have bigger army. Aragon collapsed. Good for you, Aragon. Aragon has two provinces. They have the Balearic Islands, and they have Palermo. That's it! Ooh, Austria's got some rebels. Hungarian patriots, that's fine. So we're, we are at our relations limit. I'm going to try to keep it right around there. If we go one over, it's not a big deal. But we can only have four relationships, so we're just going to keep it there for now. We need to change the culture of these two, which is going to be expensive. 75 Diplo power. Ooh. And this one's even more expensive. 150. Jesus Christ. Fine. Start it. 
Just means we won't tech our Diplo for a while. But that's okay, because we don't really use our Diplo tech. It's naval tech. We don't really use that for anything, so... Let's we'll keep it around. Might as well spend it. Almost done with our core in Oberfaltz. That's great. And Austria hasn't demanded anything from us. I love that. They demanded two provinces from us a long, long time ago when the game first started. And that's it. Oh, more Protestants. Okay. And we cord over faults. Fantastic. And they are already Bavarian, which we accept, so cool. Ireland exists? No, they don't. It's Leinster. Close, though. They are green. I'll give you that much. You got a keen eye for green. And France is invading Castile. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Uh, family secret. So we're either going to lose prestige or claim up from the air. No, no, no. We'll lose the five prestige. We've got ass loads of prestige. Got to make sure we keep Austria super keen on us. In other words, just be peaceful for a while. We can do that. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I don't do peaceful very well, but I will try. Just to keep Austria happy for a while. Because if we do wind up in a war with Poland, I want to make sure Austria is on our side. Um, I'm tempted to join the coalition against Switzerland. Because we have claims on them. And... I don't know. Who's in it right now? A lot of people. My goodness. Well, if Austria's not in it, then I guess we won't be in it. Are you in any coalitions? Yeah, they're in the coalition against France. Hmm. I don't even border France. I don't see the point. Who's in the oh, who's in the coalition against France? Austria, Lorraine, Castile, Navarra. Is this the coalition war? What is this? Tuscan, Milanese, punitive war. Are you allied with Milan? No, you're allied with Tuscany. I guess that does make sense. Tuscany's kind of weak, but they're also a little bit strong, so it's good for them to get an alliance with France, I guess. What is Brittany doing? Nothing. Why is France not even bothering Brittany? You should be bothering Brittany by now. Oh, what is this? Unhappiness in the peasants. Okay, gain prestige and lose stability, or lose the money. We'll just lose the money. I don't want to lose stability. Essentially, it's 50 bucks to not lose stability. I'll take that. I'll take that. And the Ottomans just kicked the Mamluks' teeth in, which is fucking hilarious, because eventually they're going to get inherited by Crimea, and I find that awesome. I find that so many kinds of awesome. <laughs> we could start getting claims on Poland, but I don't know. If you fabricate claims, it increases your aggressive expansion penalty. And I kind of don't want to increase my aggressive expansion penalty, if possible. Let's build some goodies. I love how much we have fucked up our relationship with our, our bitch over here. Our personal union with Thuringia. Negative 185 aggressive expansion. That is brutal. And yeah, Munster is just going to annex Brunswick. I love it. So we have them as a, a rival, right? Yeah. So we can fabricate claims on their shit. Uh, their capital is in Stade. So we can fabricate claims on Lüneburg, Altmark, and Brunswick, which are three of the provinces we need to form Germany. And they can't do anything about it. That's fantastic. Because it's not their capital. So we can take all three of them. Are you a kingdom? What are you? Archbishopric. All right, whatever. Close enough. White Peace? Really? France, you were beating Castile's head in. Oh, who's this? Tusk <laughs> Tuscany has sailed over and invaded France. <laughs> News at 11. <laughs> I'm sorry, they invaded Castile. I can't believe this. Tuscany invaded Castile. Oh, and they just got... Oh, and they pieced out Portugal, too. That's awesome. Oh, you... Oh, seriously? 
just renounce claims, that's it? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping you would annex them. Oh well. Alright, so Tuscany took Mantua and Parma from Milan. So Milan is really weak right now. Oh, they love us too. They're like, can we be buddies? And I'm like, nope. Nope. Uh, I would like to be a buddy with um, Tuscany though. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, War of Bohemian Succession. Sweden and Norway. The old king of Bohemia willed that his throne should be passed to Sweden on the event of his death. However, Norway claims blah, 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 blah. So Sweden's going to inherit Bohemia. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Sweden is going to inherit Bohemia. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, <sighs> Yeah. Bohemian succession war between Sweden and Norway. Oh, well. Uh, it's very likely that once they inherit them, they'll just have rebels and they'll go back to Bohemia, but no guarantees. Because Sweden will have cores on them. Sweden will have cores on them, but um, it'll be the wrong culture. Ooh, what's up, Austria? What's up? Uh, war with Crimea. And attacker against Leinster. All right, whatever. I don't have any relations with any of those people, so that's fine. Whatever. In the meantime, we are really kicking ass with Saxe Lauenburg. That's good. Keep building them temples. Them temples make us a lot of bank. I can't believe Sweden's going to get Bohemia. That blows. No, they won't flip to me because they're Czech. And that is not my culture group. That culture group is what? West Slavic. We're the Germanic culture group. Totally different. Okay, we can actually convert these guys now. Great. Still working on this one. Oh, did we discover that part of the world? No. It, sh it said awesome. Awesome sold Senui to Tibet. But we can't even see them, so why is it telling me about them if we can't even see them? That's a bug. Mecklenburg declared war on Munster. Really? Alright. Whatever. Austria has claimed the title Catholic or uh, Defender of the Faith. Okay, cool. You go Austria. Look at that, 190. Because we're allied in a war. No, Sweden did not hold significant parts of northern Germany. That's not true at all. Um, they did hold a small part of uh, Pomerania. It was like right around here. They held a small part of Pomerania. And they also held a bunch of land up here in the Baltic. But that's not northern Germany. That's the Baltic. There were Germanic people up there, but you know, it's not the Baltic. I mean, it's not Germany. I do read chat occasionally, but you guys are talking about hockey and shit. It's like, whatever. <laughs> uh. Yeah, personal union under Sweden. That blows. Oh, we actually have a 26% chance of just inheriting Thuringia. We don't even have to hit a button. So when our king dies, we may just inherit him. Cool. And we have a free diplomat. Let's. Uh, we don't really need to do anything there. Is there anyone else who we might be able to, like, diplo vassalize? Maybe Friesland? Uh, no, they're a merchant republic. Never mind. Uh, you guys are an archbishopric. Merchant republic. Archbishopric, of course. Is there anyone a kingdom? Yeah, Hesse is a kingdom, but they hate our guts. Bohemia is a kingdom, but they're a vassal. Mecklenburg? 
Yeah, but they're too big. They have four provinces. Hmm. I don't see any good options for, like, being, you know, good Diplo buddies. Hmm. Courland? No, they're a little far away. They do like us, though, but they're a little far away. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. <laughs> we could probably Diplo annex Hungary. They have... Well, no, they still have a few provinces, but they're really, really weak right now. Mm, Milan only has three provinces. That might... No, they're a merchant republic. Damn it! They're all fucking republics. Um, Brunswick, but they hate our guts. You know what? If we can get this relationship up really, really high, it might be the same situation as Silesia. Maybe it'll flip. Maybe. Um, they don't even want a marriage, though. Uh, outraged. Does that ever go away? That's what she said. I don't know. If we could peacefully get them, that'd be great. Uh, you know what? We'll try increasing relations. It's not going to hurt. They don't want any relations right now, but if we get them up to, like, positive 5 billion, maybe they will. Go ally with Tuscany. Uh, they're a merchant republic, so what's the point? We can't really do anything with them. I mean, they can help us fight Switzerland, but they're not actually going to be, like, a good buddy. More temples. Build them, I say. Everywhere. Uh, you're saying outraged will go away if we get them to positive relation? Maybe. Oh, philosopher died. Oh, we can tech up. Tech up. Nice. Fantastic. And we can do an idea. The Mining Act, which will be... Trade efficiency goes down, but we gain mercantilism, we gain production, and we gain national tax. Oh, that's fantastic. Production and national tax? Yes, please. Uh, okay, an admin guy. Is there anyone here that would be good for admin? Militia Act. Rulers a general. No. What is this? De Heredito Comberendo? A theologian? Oh, that's right. I was thinking about doing this one. Ooh, we'd have to get a level three theologian. I don't think there's, that's going to be hard to find. Act of uniformity, just need administrative tech. Uh, church taxes, we need a theologian, and we can't be Catholic. Convectal, need admin 10. Ba, ba, ba. Dissolution act, what's that? Stability cost is cheaper. We need a statesman and ruler diplomatic skill of two. We have a statesman, but our ruler's diplomatic skill is crap, so that's not going to work. Benign Neglect. Humanist Tolerance. We don't have that. Uh, ooh, National Tax plus 5% if we complete the aristocratic ideas. Okay. There's nothing we can really do. All right, let's just look at what's available. Ba, 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 ba. Inflation Reduction. We don't need that. National Tax. We could use that. Yeah, National Tax. Sure. Great. We discovered no gay. So, um, apparently people from San Francisco are not welcome there. Lower Dawn defected to Crimea. Okay, so... All of this land over here that Lithuania currently holds is defecting away. So Crimea is getting bigger and bigger. That's kind of cool. Although they have their own patriot rebels. Jesus Christ. And Syrian nationalists? This is pathetic. The AI has no idea what to do with rebels. It's, it's just sad. Exceptional year. Uh, more national tax or gain 20 ducats? We'll take national tax. Sure. Uh, Mecklenburg is going to conquer. I wonder if they'll just annex them. That'd be cool. You guys have Munster as rivals, so do we. So we're getting a 50 relations bonus just because we both have the same rival. We converted Ratibor. Great. So they're the right culture and we have a core. Yep, the right culture. We can't convert their religion because they have religious zeal for I don't know how many years. Uh, can we see the province modifier? Here it is. Until 1522. So 22 more years of religious zeal. That's when you can start converting them back if you want to. 
We may not want to. We'll find out. But yeah. Uh, Ooh, another war. Saxa Lauenburg is trying to conquer Lubeck. Ooh. If we can... No, we can't vassalize them while they're at war. Shit. Well, hopefully they'll still want to be my vassal after they're done with the war. Uh, right now it says they want to be a vassal, right? Yes. But if they take Lubeck, Lubeck is worth a ton. Lubeck is huge. Lubeck is... 12 base tax. They may not want to be a vassal anymore. It's only three provinces that they have, but they may not want to be a vassal if they have Lubeck. They want us to help, sure. We didn't get leadership in the war, unfortunately, or else we could have just demanded peace. Uh, but whatever. Let's go help siege, I guess. I don't really care. The Hansa is invading Cologne. Successfully, I might add. England converted to Protestant. Alright, how's the religious map looking? There's some Protestant in Norway, and over here, there's a little bit tickling around the middle of Europe, and there's a lot over here in uh, Britain. Alright, fair enough. England's declare war on Cornwall. Good for you. Austria, what's up? Uh, war with England. I thought you were allied with England. Did you break your alliance with England? Why would you do that? Ah, <sighs> fine. They broke their alliance with England for whatever reason. Probably because England went Protestant. Okay, very good. And Austria is going to lose all of its lowlands provinces to what kind of rebels? Hainotian nationalists. They're going to take all this shit for sure. Yep, and Austria is not doing a damn thing about it either. Where's your army, Austria? Where is your army, Austria? Uh. Oh god, Austria is invading Crimea. You fucking retard. Oh my goodness. Oh, did you peace out? No, we still have the war. They peaced out Oldenburg. Okay. So Austria's army is over in Crimea, you know, because, you know, that was necessary. And while they're over in Crimea, they have rebels that are going to cut their income in half if they can take all of the lowlands. That'll be amazing. All right. So Mecklenburg successfully took Luneburg, which we need. Do we have a claim yet? No, we don't have a claim yet. We need to get a claim on that and on Mecklenburg, so... Eh, maybe we can make him a vassal? I don't think so. We'll see what we can do. Lost a claim on Bomerwald. That's fine, I didn't want that anyway. I wanted to vassalize that fucker. Oh yeah, we can build stuff. Uh, temples. Build me some temples. Thank you. It's too bad that costs admin power. Because <laughs> we really need admin power. We really, really, really need admin power. We need to get our admin tech up to level 7 so that we can um, get a new idea group. But... Unfortunately, we are out of time, so thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Join us next time, where we will try to vassalize Saxa Lauenburg. Not sure it'll be possible, but it's worth trying anyway. And uh, who knows what else. See you then.